Well, it's it wasn't the result. Disappointed by the result, but I, I felt for 60 minutes we played a played a decent game. Uh, needed a little bit of puck luck, I think. Uh, we had some opportunities in the first. Uh, Brodzie had a couple on, on the same shift, and Scandella hit the post. Um, uh, we needed a, a, a little bounce there. But for 60 minutes, I again, I, I didn't mind the way that we played. A 2 nothing game, a, a fluke goal, a bad bounce. You see that happen. And to me, the, the empty netter was kind of the uh, exclamation mark of the of the way our night went. You mean the way it just dribbled on there? Well, yeah, a guy just kind of bangs it and yeah. goes right in the middle of the net. Right. You, um, how much you need, you know, I mean, puck lock, obviously, but I mean, there's some guys on the, on the team that just are not scoring goals. I mean, nice one of them won, uh, Colin John Moore. I mean, you know, you need some, some of these guys to chip in. We definitely need to need the scoring. It's, it's not because of lack of effort or carry. Uh, you know, nice one had a couple great chances tonight coming off the wing in the second. Um, you know, we created chances and, and, and that's what you want to do and, and we need either, you know, that extra effort to finish or we need a, a, a fortuitous bounce. Power play uh, again was blanked. Um, you know, you got to go right after the power play. But, uh, you had some chances. I, I, our power play was better tonight. It, it, it was better. It wasn't a, a deflating or, or demoralizing thing where you, you lose momentum. I thought it uh, uh, create. I mean, you know, again, we can be better, but I think we created some shots and some chances that that uh, kind of stirred things up a little bit, and and that's what you want, especially at home. You know, get the, shoot the puck a few times, get the crowd going. Um, you know, it creates that, that kind of positive energy. How difficult is it? The guys came out in the third period and just stormed the nets. Uh, I think they had about nine shots in a row on that net and uh, really didn't get anything until Andrew finally stuck one in. Uh, just got to feel like... Well, as, it, I, I, as a coach, you're, you're, you're disappointed because uh, I really felt that the guys, you know, worked hard and competed and played and deserved a better a better fate and, and, and you want to see them get rewarded for their efforts. You know, there's been some times this year where our, our effort wasn't uh, where it needed to be and we got the wins and you're, you know, you escape and you, you get out of there and you take the two points and it's, you know, these are the games where you're disappointed for the guys because I, I felt they, they played a hard game. How do, you, how do you keep that disappointment from compounding? I mean, you know, now you, well, you, it's, you always mention how it turns so quick. Now you're it, I, I don't, it, 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 that's, <laughs> Walking out after the game and uh, talking, just my comment to the coaches was, I think it was after the second period. It was you know a week ago you're, you know you're on you're on you're on cloud nine and feeling good about yourself and you know a week later it's 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 reversed. Uh, but that's the game. That's that's pro hockey. That's uh, you know being a, a a team right now that's fighting for its life. So do you just have to? I mean just. Accentuate positives tomorrow to get these guys back. Well, I, I I told them after the game. I told them exactly what I told you guys. As a as a coach, you're you're disappointed for them because you know they they worked hard, and and for for us as a staff, felt they deserved a better fate. And and you know I, I think you can obviously everyone's disappointed. You know all the players are disappointed. Coaches are disappointed. Uh, uh, but. You know, we're going to have to wake up tomorrow morning and change our attitude. And, uh, you know, I think we can take a lot of good things out of the game, but you know, we got a great Vancouver game team coming in on on Sunday. Uh, is Scandella update? I haven't had a chance okay. to talk, so I don't. I do not know. What's your assessment of Anton's game tonight, coming into this situation? And well, he comes in. It's a tough situation, and uh, you know, uh, I think everything that's going to be talked about is that third goal, but, and it's just unfortunate. You know, a, a young guy coming in wants to impress, and uh, you see that happen. I, I watched Nick Lidstrom throw a puck in against uh, Ellis in Nashville. I think it was game six of the playoffs for the game winner in the third period, and his, I think it was a 0-0 game. Mm -hmm. And and those things happen, and it, it's 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 unfortunate. You know, you're a goalie, and it takes a bad bounce on you. That's, you know, it looks bad. You know, if you're a forward or a defenseman, it takes a bad bounce. You always have your goaltender, or you have time to recover, and, and uh, kind of make the play, but um, 
I, I thought we played in front of them. I thought we played well. I thought we defended well. You know, we, I think we came into the game thinking we got to give up about 10, 10 or 12 chances against. And I think that's, that's right at the number that we were at. It, it might even be a little bit lower than that. So I thought as a group we played pretty well. And, you know, a couple of the opportunities, Anton made the save. 